Hey, we're back at it again on the white fiberglass. Got my good friends, the Newtons here. We're gonna run out of Clearwater Pass to about 60 to 70 feet or so. Let's see if we can pick up some more bacon, some snapper, and anything else that wants to bite our bait. Thanks for coming by Head First Fishing today. It's gonna be another fun-filled, exciting day right here in Pinellas County, Florida. Let's go ahead and head on out the pass. Alright, looks like I found what I'm looking for. A really nice looking ledge. It's not a big one, maybe just a couple of feet. Uh, I'm going to drop the trolling motor down. A lot of nice looking bottom right around here. Alright, so I'm making my way back to that waypoint that I found. So I'm going to try to set up just right over the top of this ledge on the high side. A lot of good looking structure in this area. I like it. So I'm going to go ahead and drop down this shrimp on this bead knocker rig. We're going to work this area thoroughly. We're going to spend some time here. It's a pretty decent fish. I laid it up. What I got? I got Mr. Hog! Woo! Nice! That is what I'm talking about. The quest for bacon. That's a beauty. Nice. If you prospect, you will find them. Oh, oh snap, oh snap. Oh, oh no, that was a beast. Nice. Hey, old Buckalus. Quest for bacon. The bucket buster. It's a small female hogfish. We're definitely in a good place for hogfish. That's two in a row, so I think we're gonna be here in this spot for a while. That's a good fish. A pig. Female. Yeah, buddy. Nice one. That's right. We're in the bacon. Look at that beautiful fish. I don't know if it's gonna make it, but that's a nice fish, man. Keep on that handle, keep on that handle. Pull up, pull up. Pull up. <laughs> Hogfish, get him in the boat. Yeah, more bacon. I like it. Let's get that hog. All right, so we're sticking a lot of fish and some uh, little undersized hogfish. I'm just gonna keep plodding away, see if we can pull up one that'll go home with us. But uh, the bacon quest is a success so far, as far as uh, catching the hogfish. Now, to make it a true success, we gotta take some bacon home. You got a big porgy. Now you got a big old pig, come on. Yeah, that one oh. is going home. <laughs> Nice red grouper. Nice! <laughs> Beautiful. That's that's a nice red grouper there. It's a little bit banged up. So that I thought I had a bite. Yeah. Look at that. Went into the rocks and came yeah. out. Look at that beauty. Hold your fish. That's a good one. That's another good one. Beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> Bang. Bam. I told you I was going for bacon. <laughs> and we're calling the hogs today. <laughs> Killing the hogfish. This is the best day of hogfishing I've ever had. Get out there, get offshore, find the hard bottom, find the ledges, drop down some shrimp, some uh, fiddler crabs, and see what you can do. I use Navionic sonar charts to find this area. 
It wasn't exactly on that waypoint, but I just scanned around with my sonar, my side scan, and I found a nice looking ledge. It's only maybe a foot or two high off the bottom, and it's loaded with hogfish. Get out there and make it happen, just oh. like her. Reel down. You got it. Reel. Oh. Yeah. Big old pig. Big male. Big male hogfish. That is what I'm talking about. Just every other drop. Just killing them, man. That's a nice fish. That's going home for sure. Come on. Looks like it is. It's a pig. Yeah, baby. Come on in here. That's a dog. Best day of hog fishing I've ever had, man. That's a nice one. You know you got a hog fish, man. It comes in and just tick, tick, thumps your bait, and then it gets heavy. O'Hara fishing, bottom fishing for hogfish, they go hand in hand. Stop by St. Pete Fishing Outfitters or Tampa Fishing Outfitters and get your gear. Doubling up on keeper hogfish out off of Clearwater, Florida. We're having an outstanding day out here. My friends at Newtons are really doing a great job getting these fish to the boat. Uh, the bite's been pretty steady since we set up on this ledge, uh, and so hopefully we can get a few more uh, in the box. We started out with small ones, but now we got the, the bigger fish, so we're, we're really doing it up this time. This is the best day, again, <coughs> the best day ever of hogfish for me, right here in my 22-foot bay boat. So it's our third spot for the day, and uh, the second spot has been the best, so hopefully we can duplicate what we just did. I mean, it was just crazy good there for a while. It's got a nice little red grouper, it's a little short. Uh, keep sending these pinfish down. I got a couple dozen pins, so I'm gonna burn these and see what I can do for more grouper meat. Got a few more minutes and then we're gonna roll back. It's beautiful out here. I should be able to roll uh, above average cruising speed as flat as it is. So I'm looking forward to getting home uh, quickly. Got a good one. Keep on him. Keep on him. Keep on him. Big old pig. Good hog fish. Such a nice female. Nice job. <laughs> Tell you what, I couldn't have asked for a better day to come out here and catch hogfish. It's beautiful conditions, flat calm out here. The hogfish are plentiful. I got great friends here catching these amazing fish. Hey, Holly, thanks for coming out here today. Thanks Patrick, for having hey, us. thanks for coming out today, man. <laughs> awesome time. That's a nice yeah. fish. Oh, 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 get him up, get him up, get him up on the handle. Yes! Come on back, come on back. Yes! That's a big pig, dude. That's a big old hogfish. Get him up. Get him up. You got him. You got him. Take in line. Take in line. Boom! Yes! Please be a giant hogfish. It's coming left. Wait, no, 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 no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I thought you were running off that way. Big hogfish. Big male hogfish. Boom! There we go. That is how we end the day Ooh. with a big keeper hogfish. Holy man. That is a fine one right there, buddy. Woo. That's a beast. Look at that. Hey, I'm Captain Joe Rains, fishing out of Clearwater, Florida today. Appreciate you coming by the Head First Fishing channel. If you had any questions, send an email to headfirstfishing at gmail.com. I'd love to help you out with your fishing tips. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.
Ba-da-ba-ba.